What's up guys? I'm coming today with you. Um, I'm going to be showing you my baitcaster rod and what I got on it and what my setup is. Let's get into it. Alright, so I'm throwing a 6.2 Quitnam uh, baitcaster. Um, um, it's a 6.2 model. Um, it has 10 different selections. Um, I'm throwing it on a uh, Reverb rod. Um, I like this rod. It uh, has more of a tension. I can throw it back here without getting backlash. Um, let me show you what's on it. I can get it off. All right. So I got a. Uh, <coughs> I got a, uh, a crankbait. Sorry about that, guys. Crankbait, and uh, I like this bill on it. Because uh, when when I'm approaching logs or something, it'll pop it up and go over that log real quick. And uh, I just like that technique on it. I watched a video on it of this underwater, and uh, I I've had no problem going over trees and stuff with my other crankbaits. Um, but yeah, when it goes to a log or something, it'll pop up just like this, and it'll pop over that very quick. But uh. Uh, do get some crankbaits. Um, square bills, I, I like them. Uh, I like this one very cool because it goes over them logs easier. And then uh, square bill crankbaits do tend to get over a little bit easier. But um, this is the shad color. I really like this color because uh, most of the fish down where I river, where I fish, fish at, um, sort of has that technique color. So, um, Go, go check out these reels. These are some really good reels. I actually got this in front of a buddy at my church. So, um, pick you up some Quitnam reels. Uh, you can go to any local, uh, like Bath Pro Shop or something. Thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. I'll probably see you in another video this week. See you, guys.